Epic Games is shutting down servers for a bunch of old games again. Okay. Like a lot. So I I should have followed up on this and I didn't. That is my bad. This topic was shared with me. Uh, where is it? Let me just search for Epic. Uh, Epic. I think there's some extra juice on this. Oh. Um, where I think they have been removing games from stores as well. Interesting. Um, uh, so in, while he's looking that up, the affected games include A Thousand Tiny Claws, Dance Central 1, 2, and 3, though VR online multiplayer will remain up, Green Day Rock Band, Monsters, probably, Stole My Princess, Rock Band 1, 2, and 3, The Beatles Rock Band, Supersonic Acrobatic Rocket Powered Battle Cars, Unreal Gold, Unreal 2, The Awakening, Unreal Tournament 2003, Unreal Tournament 2004, Unreal Tournament 3, though that one will be reactivated and re-released for free as Unreal Tournament 3X. Uh, it is already renamed. It is barred from sale on Steam, and that'll be on Epic Online Services in the future with cross-play between Steam, Epic Game Store, and Good Old Games. Unreal Tournament Game of the Year Edition. Um, the Master Server has been up in some form or another since 1999, so goodbye. It is possible to specify a Master Server manually, though, so players could use, uh, for example, old Unreal via Unreal.ini tweaks. Battle Breakers. Unreal Tournament Alpha, Rock Band Blitz, Rock Band Companion App, and Sing Space. Some games, like Unreal Tournament Game of the Year, have support for direct IP connections and should still be playable without the master server browser. Uh, and most also feature local multiplayer options. But once again, Luke and I are bringing up how horrible this is and what it will mean for the next round of server end of life's when you just are utterly unable to use these software titles that you paid for, excuse me, <clears throat> uh, rented. It's very frustrating. Uh, did you find what you were looking to talk about? No. Um, I think it... All right, here we go. One second. The reason... I'm close. Okay, the reason for it is that uh, Epic is pushing to support its Epic Online Services system, which they say will provide a unified friend system, voice chat, parental controls, and parental verification features. Okay. Um, I guess. Yeah, um, like some... Is this in here? Yeah, like Unreal Gold. Unreal Gold. I don't know a ton about this game. And yeah, like if you look up Unreal Gold on Steam right now, it says notice Unreal Gold is no longer available on the Steam store. Yep. So if you didn't get it, that's it. And there didn't appear to be a ton of warning for this. Recent reviews are apparently but like mixed. this is a single player game. Or it's listed as a single player game on on Steam. So it's it's not that they just like because this is talking about turning off servers, right? Yeah. Epic says some titles will still work offline while others not be playable at all. So Unreal Gold is not sold anymore? I guess. I mean, was anyone really buying it? I don't know. It came out in 1998. It's not really the point, though. I know. It just sucks. Yeah. It just sucks. Yeah. But my, my game in history. Unreal Gold is just like the first one in the list, so that's what I dove into. But I don't, I don't know if like some of these other ones are also off the store. It also sounds like like there's a note lower down somewhere do, 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 where like the game is being re-released. I don't remember which one. That's Unreal uh, 3. Unreal Tournament 3. Yeah, being re-released as Unreal 3X yeah, already, already renamed, about that. barred from the Steam sale and it's on Epic Game Services. So I feel like part of this is trying to get it to move to their own stuff. Well, yeah, absolutely it is. Epic seems to be <laughs> the only other game store owner that is still, still holding holding out is like no no we will we're gonna compete with steam everyone else has come crawling back oh except blizzard uh, activision blizzard is still on the blizzard own thing. won't yeah i am 100 percent certain blizzard won't um because they've been doing it a lot longer but ea ubi they're back yeah they're back baby because blizzard had their own launcher back when Tons of things had their own launcher. And they actually had like a launcher for it and everyone got used to using it yep. before Steam just like ran everything because they Blizzard was doing an MMO and back in the day, Steam didn't support MMOs through Steam effectively. Right. Um, so like, yeah, people just got used to it. I don't think 
Blizzard is ever going to bail. Um, pe- Blizzard is getting people pretty used to launching COD. No, you can just buy COD through. So Activision part right. of Blizzard is still using Steam, I guess. But, but Blizzard, don't expect Blizzard. to buy Diablo 4. Yeah, yeah. On Steam. Yeah, I think that's where we're at. Yeah, yeah. Ubi caved recently. Yep, matter of time. Anthony's take... Um, you know, how long should game companies really be expected to keep older games afloat, though? And to Epic's credit, a lot of their older games using Unreal Engine are very open and easily modded. Not all of these games are, though. Uh, regardless of how long they were supported for, though, IMO, once they sunset games, they should release the server software and yes. tools for the community to restore them. Yep. Yeah, so my point isn't actually at all how long companies should be expected to keep games yep. afloat. Um, I can totally understand if you're like, man, we have zero users on almost every day not wanting to keep those servers going uh, but it is entirely based around those companies releasing uh, yep. the server softwares and tools needed for the community to restore them like like anthony said uh, that is that is where literally my entire argument lies because the only thing i'm worried about at a certain point because you brought up like how many people are still playing this yeah that's very valid for yeah. a lot of games probably no one yeah probably literally no one but people should be able to down the line if you want to for like literally historical reasons yep like we sh- we shouldn't lose the entire history of video game development that would be really depressing <laughs> like it's actually a huge deal uh, 